Hi, my name is Brad Weiss. I'm an electrical technician here at Rosenbauer, South Dakota. And today we're gonna to take a few minutes to go over the EMV chassis manufactured by Navistar. Of course, we have the electric symbol here. That's the one thing that sets this chassis apart. Other than that, it's a very familiar MV chassis. Go ahead and take a look inside. Seating is typical. We have a between the seat electrical console for your radios and the other electrical tidbits that a rescue vehicle requires. You can see it's got a fully digital display. Real nice gauge set. Over here we have the Sencom, the Whelan Sencom Core uh, electrical control system that handles all the 12 volt throughout the vehicle. Warning lights, sirens, scene lights, and so on. Over here we have a 360 uh, fire research in view camera system. So it has a full view all the way around the truck gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on on all sides, and it also consists of a DVR. As far as uh, operating the electric chassis, it's very conventional. It's just like any other MV chassis. Standard brake pedal, push the park brake to release. You turn the key, gets it up and running, simply by pushing reverse, neutral, or drive just like a standard Allison shift selector pad. I'll go ahead and set the park brake. Put it in neutral, turn the key off, and you're done. After you're in motion for a while and the batteries are properly warmed up, if you can, the regen brake system is enabled. You do have three stages. You have one, two, or three. And I know from my own experience, when you're in uh, the third level of battery regen, you really don't need to use the brake pedal at all. Underneath this cover here, you're gonna find two standard Group 31 12 volt DC batteries, real standard equipment. If you wanna hook up your radios and your intercoms, you can do that there. There's three main battery packs. One stack is located about here. One stack is approximately here. And the other stack is located directly underneath the chassis cab for a total of about 600 volts, uh, all in all together, approximately 210 kilowatt hours. Range for the vehicle is purported by IH to be about 135 miles. Uh, they're located in inside of the frame rail and low, so the center of gravity is low. And also being where they are, they're e easy to service. They're contained in a simple saddle if they ever need to be worked on or replaced they just drop right out the bottom. Also, because they're centrally placed, they're away from potentially being damaged in the event of a strike from either the front or the rear. Moving back here, we have some additional crew seating. We have a couple fans mounted up there to keep you nice and cool. And underneath the three, seat, three seating positions, we have some additional storage. Another advantage of the Rosenbauer South Dakota Smart Cab is the ability to have this pass through here so the crew up front can easily communicate with the crew out back. Here we have our approximately 15 gallon fuel cell for the generator that's sitting on top. Here's the forward transverse compartment. In here we have the start stop controls for the generator and the light tower controls for the 120 volt AC light tower. It's got brand new Fire Research Firefly light heads on it. Here we have our rollout trays. As we move our way to the back, because it's a rescue, you want plenty of 120 volt power. Complements of the generator on top of the vehicle. We have a 120 volt outlet here and a 20, 120 volt outlet here. Once again, taking advantage of the generator, we have a nice cord reel here and plenty of deep compartment space for those long, longer objects you need to store. So let's go up top and take a look at the generator and some compartment space up there. We have four compartments up here, all sealed up nicely to keep the weather out. Here we have the 120, 240 volt generator provided to us by Anderson Industrial Engines. This gives us the ability or the vehicle the ability to provide all the 120 and 240 volt power you need, whether it's for a smoke evacuation fan, uh, whether it's charging another electric vehicle or you need to pull a cord reel out or you need to run your light tower. 
This particular compartment is equipped with the adjustable shelves. You can add more shelves, you can take them out, and you can also put tool trays in here. If you choose to, you can charge this vehicle or another vehicle using the onboard generator and our uh, 10KW slow charger plug we have here. Located right around here is for your convenience is the slow charge plug. And we also have a DC fast charger that you can plug into there. On slow charging, it's gonna take approximately 12 plus hours. Fast charge would be about an hour and a half, two hours on a completely dead battery.